Rajasthan Royals wrote a heroic batting effort by Yosh Butler to edge out Chennai Super Kings, CSK by four wickets in a nail-biting Indian Premier League, IPL, encounter at the Sawai Mansingh Stadium here on Friday. Butler batted through the innings to help Rajasthan overhaul a stiff 177-run target with just one ball to go. Having opened the Rajasthan innings along with England star Ben Stokes, Butler continued to defy the CSK bowlers even as wickets fell at the other end. He remained unbeaten on 95 runs off just 60 balls, hitting 11 boundaries and a couple of sixes along the way. Despite the defeat, CSK continued to hold on to the second spot with 14 points from 11 matches. They trail league leaders Sunrisers Hyderabad by 4 points. Rajasthan are 8th in the 10-team table with 10 points from 11 matches. In an edge of the seat affair that went right down to the wire, it was Butler who gave the Rajasthan innings a powerful start by hitting David Willey for consecutive boundaries off the opening three balls. He hit Harbhajan Singh for two boundaries and a six in the next over. Ben Stokes was also in good touch at the other end and seemed set to end his run of lean form when he hit Harbhajan Singh for a six over midwicket in the fourth over. But the veteran off-spinner had his revenge in the very next ball when the Englishman went for another big hit but the incoming delivery managed to find the gap between bat and pad to disturb the stumps. Ravindra Jadia then dismissed Rajasthan captain Ajinkya Rahane in the next over to put Chennai in the driver's seat. Butler and Sanju Samson then tried to steady the innings, adding 45 runs between them off the next seven overs before the latter was run out following a horrible mix-up. Prashant Chopra then handed an easy catch to Dwayne Bravo at short midwicket off a rather ordinary delivery from Shardal Thacker as Chennai gradually started to gain the upper hand. Stuart Binney also failed to last long as Chennai seemed destined for another win. With 28 runs needed off 12 deliveries, it was Krishna Pagautham who gave the chase some much-needed momentum with a power-packed innings that produced 13 runs off just 4 balls. All those runs came in the penultimate over as he smashed Willie for two sixes. But a careless shot saw him hand an easy top edge to Mahendra Singh Dhoni behind the stumps off the last ball of the over as the visitors seemed to take the upper hand once again going into the final over. All that changed in the nail-biting last over. Fittingly, it was Butler who hit the winning runs. With 10 runs needed off the last four deliveries, the visitors missed a great chance when Butler tried to hit Dwayne Bravo for a six but the ball skied up off the toe end of the bat. But there was no one to in position to take the catch as Butler ran for two runs. The England star punished the visitors for that dropped chance with a six into the stands beyond the mid-wicket boundary. An overthrow in the next ball allowed him to complete the victory as the Rajasthan dugout erupted in celebration. Earlier, a decent batting effort helped CSK post a fighting total of 176 quarters. It was a fine knock by Suresh Reina, 52 off 35 balls, followed by skipper Mahendra Singh Dhani's unbeaten 33 and opener Shane Watson's 39 runs which took the Yellow Brigade to a good total against the hosts. Opting to bat first, the visitors were off to a quick start as openers Ambadi Ravidu and Watson accumulated 19 runs from the first two overs. However, the decent start was short-lived as Jafra Archer drew the first blood for the hosts, when a short ball from him took an inside edge to shattered Ryudu's 12 off 9 balls, stumps in the third over. The opener's fall saw Reina joining Watson in the middle and the duo helped Chennai recover from the early blow taking their side past the 50-run mark in 5.1 overs. 
Both Batman further played sensibly and shared an 81-run partnership to help the Yellow Brigade cross 100-run mark in 11.1 overs. With the Australian all-rounder inching towards his half-century, Archer struck again in the 12th over to pack back a good-looking Watson on 39 runs and Chennai's scorecard reading 105 halves. On the other hand, Reyna, who was then accompanied by skipper Dhoni, slammed his half-century facing 32 balls however, the southpaw threw his wicket when he failed to read a googly by Ish Sodi, giving an easy catch to Stuart Binney at short fine leg. With Chennai at 119 thirds and 13 overs, Dhoni and Sam Billings, 27 off 22, forged a 55-run partnership off 39 balls to put back things in control. Billings departed in the final over while trying to take a single as wicketkeeper Josh Butler's throw from behind demolized the Englishman's stump. Dhoni remained unbeaten on 33 runs facing 23 balls, hitting a boundary and a six to help his side reach a fighting total of 176 runs. For Rajasthan, Archer bagged a couple of wickets but leaked 42 runs while Sodi scalped one conceding 29 runs. Brief scores, Chennai Super Kings, 176 quarters and 20 overs, Suresh Reina 52, Shane Watson 39, Jafra Archer 240 seconds, versus Rajasthan Royals, 177, sixths in 19.5 overs, Yosh Butler 95 not out, Stuart Binney 22.